Hey everybody, it's Mad Master here. Uh, I'm doing a few videos today. I feel like uh, up in the volume a little bit. Um, notice that my videos aren't getting as many views, so uh, if you, please click the subscribe button. And, uh, <laughs> all that sort of nonsense. Um, it doesn't matter, it's fine. I understand there's some things that do not get uh, watched or interested in. So I'm not gonna be a narcissist and sit here and say, uh, you gotta watch my videos. <laughs> So anyways, on the subject, I think that I found the way to really confuse and befuddle certain types of people in regards to certain issues and subjects. And this is kind of what I've been thinking a lot about this lately. And I think it's kind of a intellectual self-defense slash just a way, a fun thing to do. And this is my, these are my thoughts. So. When it comes to like the hyper political people that are out there, both on the right and left, to be fair, you know, like there's some people I just remember talking to them. They, they couldn't bring up anything. I can't bring up anything without them talking about liberals, this or liberals that, or, you know, back in the day, especially more so back in the day than now, or you're on the phone with someone, a customer at a call center job. And they're like, I hope you fuck for Trump. I'm like, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to vote. I mean, this is a long time ago. This is 2016. But so you have that. And then you have the obviously probably more hyper political uh, other side. So there was someone. Uh, OK, I'm just going to say this, that there was someone I had a little bit of interest in recently and took a look at her social media and I saw all this political stuff. I'm like. And I wonder if what they look at me and you know, I think, oh my God, you know, you're posting some kind of conspiracy thing. You know, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, oh God, that's not going to work. So I kind of am going to withdraw from that interest, I think. Um, but <laughs> nevertheless, who knows, you know, I mean, I've ended up with the wokiest, wokiest of the woke, like one of my ex-girlfriends was. I mean, you know, she, any accusation that anybody had, she believed. Johnny Depp everybody it was like just total cringe you know and even my own relatives that have been like fought with me over like certain subjects like that have were like yeah you know i don't know about that you know like this is like how crazy it was so these are my thoughts on the hyper political how to piss them off um find a cogent and intelligent way to say the system is all bad corrupt I don't believe in either side. Both sides have good points sometimes, blah, blah, blah. This neutral but also dissident position is the ultimate, you know, thing, ultimate faux pas to them that might piss them off, but like, it will confuse them. They'll give this, oh, oh, it goes, oh, 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 you know, third parties and stuff like that. So that's the first thing. And that, that's how I actually see things. I'm kind of an anarcho centrist, I call myself in a way, because I think the whole system is bad. The system has failed. Dave Mustaine was right. Anyways, so in many ways, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying everything is bad, but you know, a huge percentage of it is now, 60, 70% of it. So anyways, the second thing is about the ultra religious, fundamentalist, smug type of people that want to uh, implement their religion onto you. And this idea is almost more controversial in a way, kind of, cause like, in a way, it's like, I don't think people understand this whole concept, but pluralism, I've talked to, I think I talked about this in a previous video, but I'm just doing a video about it now, like, because um, I wanted to separate this idea. And it's like pluralism as in, well, you have this big, let's say this is big statue, you can only see part of it from like this angle. But if you see the whole thing, you see the whole statue, but your part is still a position. And that's what religion is. It's, it's little parts of the truth. But if you add it all together, or if you scale it or refine all those ideas that go together, then you find out what's really happening, what really is happening. So Christianity's not right. Islam's not right. Buddhism is not right. Taoism, Satanism, <laughs> you know, it's like, nothing is right, but it's all right. It's all correct. Right? So this is kind of a threat to the ultra religious kind of people. And it's like, oh, holy. Like they'll try to 
mentally gymnastic themselves out of, you know, agreeing with you or whatever. Like I said, you know, in a previous video, it's like, there's plenty of countries that aren't fun, you know, aren't Christian countries and they do well. They're civilized nations, you know. And as far as like the Islam, oh, Islam will fascism, oh, oh, these people, these neocon douchebags, right? They've been around since the Bush administration. I mean, even Christopher Hitchens jumped on board at one point, which is sad. I understand the mentality of why he did it, but he should know that the United States has been one of the biggest funders of Islamic fundamentalism, you know, by supporting Saudi Arabia, because they will go around the world and fund madrasas that are teaching radical Islam because they want to, we want to control the oil and control these people. So, oh, we'll just give a free pass to them. If they would have actually funded more moderate governments there, well, they wouldn't, we wouldn't have had that control of money wise or oil wise or the, the peace that we, the peace that we make with these people. And that's, that's basically the gist of it. Watch Adam Kerr's documentaries, you know, all of them he talks about this, you know, Bitter Lake is the one to watch, by the way, um, about that whole subject. So I learned that. That was more recently that I learned that. I wanted to get to the bottom of everything. And I think that's really 70, 80 years of support of Saudi Arabia. And their regime has been the major catalyst for a lot of that. Maybe not all of it, but a lot of it. Um, you know, Indonesia and countries like that, you know, where Islam is like more moderate. I think it's Indonesia. More moderate Islam does perpetuate, but you know, you go to the Middle East, of course, there's, you know, craziness. We, the United States have been a big part of, has been a big, big part of that. So the whole idea that there's, uh, what am I trying to say? Why does that have to do with this? Well, I mean, pluralism, because people will come out and attack me. So, well, Islam's bad though, Ugh. you know? Yeah, it's, it's, it's all stupid to me. I'm all organized religion. But there are better strains of it, you know, and, but the United States has made it very, very uh, prevalent, the more radical ideas, obviously, that's what I'm saying. So, because I know there'll be some right-wing watchers like, oh, Islam's bad, but we have to be a Christian nation. Ugh. No, I want to go back to 2010. That's what I like. <laughs> I keep saying this. Uh, I love 2010 for some reason, but um, so yeah, I just, I hate the, you know, I like to attack things with being more open-minded in a certain way, like attack. And, you know, I'm thinking of like, like I said about this uh, person that I kind of was interested in, I'm like, well, you know, she may say these things and stuff, but it's like, do I have to like fall into that trap? Well, I don't know, you know, take a look at my book collection and you'll probably be astounded or my preferences. You know, like one of my ex-girlfriends, she, she told me a, she was a, like a, that one that I was talking about was ultra woke, dated a neo Nazi that coming person, which uh, I'm like, dude, I've been desperate at times, but I wouldn't like a, a female version of that. I would not date. I would not date a neo Nazi that coming person, you know, or I probably wouldn't even, you know, at this point, I'm not going to be like extreme about my beliefs about this stuff, but. It's very hard. It would be very hard for me to really date like a neoliberal, like Hillary Clinton lover person. You know, I would have a harder time. I would almost, I'm, I'm going to dare say this right out. This, I probably wouldn't date someone that's MAGA, but blue MAGA, um, like let's say they're a libertarian, but they also were kind of like, oh, well, he's better, you know, maybe, but it's the same with the other side. It's like, they're like, Oh, I just voted for the lesser two evils by voting for uh, our ger geriatric a dementia person in chief or something like that. It'd be the same on the other side too. It's like, well, I'm more libertarian, but I voted for orange man, orange man because of that, you know, this or that. Maybe, but a diehard like Marjorie Taylor Greene kind of like MAGA Republican or like a Hillary bot. I don't know if I could do either one. I can't, I, it just doesn't work for me. Um, but feminists are, are difficult, you know, as far as that goes, like hard, hardcore feminists. I can't, it's just, I've already done it so many, I've done it so many times, like, the, you know, I mean, not so many times, but that's like the majority of my dating at this point, like, as far as time goes, maybe that's good, like, those are my longest relationships, man. 
why don't you go for another five minutes? I don't know. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm not saying I don't like you know like some of the precepts of that. I'm just saying like just uh, believe in words like man spreading or whatever. It's like uh, you know, it's just stupid bullshit, and I hate that these little terms and these words and these ideas. It's like go beyond these small types of thinking for one. So, anyways, I'm blabbing. I'm gonna do a song or a video about a song I hate next. So. Hopefully it'll be a little more entertaining than this political stuff I've been talking about the last few weeks. I kind of want to put the kibosh on that now because it's all fucked anyways. I'm going to do one more video with my green screen. That's political. <laughs> but I'll, only after this inspection because my green screen is over there and I'm not going to put it up. So that's about all.